Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and with iOS 18 being just around the corner, of course, a lot of users are excited about this update. It is an amazing update with a lot of new features and changes, but in today's video, we're going to focus on the new control center. So as you probably know, the new iOS 18 also features a brand new control center, which actually we have been waiting for for a really long time. So in today's video, we're taking a look at the new control center and I will show you guys every new feature that you will be able to find on the control center on iOS 18. Now, first of all, let's get started here with a new design. Of course, we have a brand new design. We have different shapes here for the toggles and of course the different widgets on the control center are now more rounded and they look better in my opinion. Now let's start from the top here. You will see two different buttons. So we have a power button, which will let you power off your device directly from the control center. And then we have a plus button, which will basically send your control center to the edit mode from where you can add controls and remove controls. But we're gonna go ahead and talk about that a bit later. Now, first of all, you will have here an updated privacy page. So if we just open like the camera or maybe we open an app that will use our microphone, you will see here kind of like an updated page for the privacy settings. And then we also have the different pages of the control center. For the first time on iOS, we have a control center in which we can have multiple pages. So one of them can be this one right here. We have your main toggles and widgets. And you can have another one maybe with like the media controls and then one with your Bluetooth, Wi-Fi and all the connections and everything else you need. Now, of course, you can add another page. So if I just go ahead and go to the edit mode by tapping and holding anywhere on the screen or just tap the plus button to go to the edit mode, I can switch swipe down here and as you can see now it will create a brand new page from where of course I can just tap on add control and I can just go ahead and add widgets and controls to the control center and create a brand new page with anything I need here. Now the cool thing about these pages is that you can move around between them of course go back and forth here or you can see right there on the right side we have those little icons that indicate the pages we're in. What you can do is also swipe your finger right there at those icons and that will let you actually move through the pages much much quicker this will be very useful especially if you have a lot of pages on the control center of your device now when it comes to the controls that you add and the different widgets what's really cool is that of course now you can move them around just like you would do with icons on the home screen of your device so again if i go to the edit mode here I have a bunch of different controls here. I can move them around if I want to switch places. I can do that. I can move this one up here. You can see how easy that is. So even if you have a one here, you can maybe even just move it to another page. I can go ahead and drop it right there, even though that didn't move. Let's just try that again. Now, it's actually kind of tricky when moving these, but as you can see, if you just tap and hold there, you can just place like a widget or a control on any page you want. Now, what's really cool is that also, as you can see here, just like with the new feature on the home screen, where you can place icons anywhere you want, you can also do that with the toggles on the control center, so they won't rearrange automatically. You can just place them anywhere you need them and you can also resize them fairly easy. So again, you go to the edit mode. If I have like a medium toggle right there, I can go ahead and tap on that grab or tap and hold, and I can drag it like that. That way I can just go ahead and make that bigger. Or if I want to, of course, I can just drag it like that and make it smaller. And that way, of course, it will fit a lot more toggles on the control center's page. Now, when it comes to toggles, there are a ton of them for your control center on iOS 18. And according to Apple in the future, third-party apps will also be able 
to add their toggles so you can use them on the lock screen as well as on the control center of your device and that will be very very useful but again if you just go ahead and tap right here to add a control you will see a ton of different controls first of all we have a search bar at the top from where you can search for like different controls you might need and then you will have here some of the most useful ones like the text size the flashlight quick notes screen recording and all that good stuff and then you will have below that a few different categories like the capture one where you will have your camera toggles then you will have your connections here like the personal hotspot or your cellar data or the airplane mode now this is a widget that you can add for your connectivity but you can also add individual toggles for the airplane mode cellular personal hotspot and bluetooth as well now what you can do right here is also add the display and brightness toggles and you will see all the different categories here have like different toggles which you can add now what i think about this control center something that i really don't like is that these like sliders right here cannot actually be resized but that's hopefully something that will change in the future and then we have here the focus the notes the music playing right here the now playing media and then you will have the remote the shortcuts we're going to get in, into that in a second here we have the sounds translation our utilities and then all the other categories again each of them can easily be added to any of your control center pages again you can add it and then even if you add a smaller one you can always resize it now one of my favorite toggles when it comes to the control center and this will work for the lock screen as well is the shortcuts one because you can not only launch any shortcut you want from the control center but you can also add this one which is called app and then you can open any app you want directly from the control center you don't need to create a shortcut for that app you can just add it as easy as that that way you will have the app right on your control center anytime you need to open that app you tap here and there it goes it opens the app for you as easy as that so pretty useful you can add it any way you want on the control center and as i said on the lock screen as well that way you launch any app you want directly from the lock screen now two of these toggles for the control center have a really big widget which basically will take up a total page on the control center one of them will be the now playing widget so you can see right here you will have the album art all the controls you can choose here where you want to stream it's pretty cool the volume slider as well but of course this actually has a ton of different sizes so this is the bigger size you can make it a bit smaller like this it looks pretty cool you can make it even smaller like this or you can make it all the way small as as small as that so you can change this to actually any size you want now the same goes here for the connectivity you will have here this widget that includes the airplane mode airdrop wi-fi solar data bluetooth personal hotspot and the vpn as well but again you can resize this and actually make it smaller and turn it into a small widget as easy as that now, as you can see for this one we don't have a medium size so you will have to actually choose the smallest or the biggest size so that's pretty much it for this video guys these are all the cool new features that you will be able to find on the new control center with ios 18. hope you guys enjoyed the video hopefully you're liking ios 18 it's actually a cool update it has a ton of cool features a lot of customization options so i think you'll love this update to want to get it on your iphone so that is it again thank you guys for watching the video leave a like if you enjoyed and if you want to see more ios 18 videos and i will see you on the next one